Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome back to another video. I am jumping straight into this from the other room after Liverpool have just beaten Tranmere by three goals to two. Uh, Belgium have also been eliminated from the World Cup. That game was happening at the same time as France advanced to the final. But obviously I'm going to start with Liverpool and obviously I'm going to start with Karras because I know that is exactly what the headline is going to be coming out of this game. And I know that's exactly what all of you are going to comment about um, in this comment box below. And you're well within your right to. Um, I've been in the camp of uh, let's not panic too much. If he is a number one, it is what it is. Um, I still think we can win the league without um, signing a keeper. But that tonight doesn't help that cause, doesn't help his cause. Um, some of you will be saying it's a blessing in disguise because maybe Klopp, maybe that will open his eyes. How much do you pay atten attention to pre-season? I think people pick and choose how much they want to um, pay attention to pre-season. Some people will say that there's no um, correlation between pre-season and you know, competitive football. Um, I think it just depends on a narrative. Um, I think everybody will say that, well, every, well, most people will say that that mistake by Karras was 100% impacted by um, his mistake in Kiev, his overall confidence and him just being crap. Um, and it's a fair argument. I, I, I'm not in the business of sticking up for Karras. Uh, I stand by him having a very good um, January to April of last season. Um, but that's about all I can really say for him now. Um, if we are realistic about things, he was crap before that. And if we are realistic about things, he's been crap since that. He was crap in Kiev. Um, his, I mean, I don't want to be one of those old guys that talks about Instagram, but the, the Instagram video was just a bizarre thing to do, a bizarre time. And then this tonight, the first time he's been tested, uh, he didn't get, there was no shot certainly against Chester, but this is the first time he's been tested uh, with a routine free kick. Remember the free kick that he faced against Spartak Moscow, which he, for some reason, didn't get anywhere near? Again, a dead ball here. I mean, people that are going to take free kicks against Liverpool are just going to be absolutely loving it. Just going to shoot every time because you just never know what's going to happen. Um, I, I, I don't think I'm being a hypocrite because, as I say, I stand by what... Um, I stand by the facts, which is that he was very good back in the last season. Um, and I, I do understand Jurgen Klopp's mentality of only buying players that are genuinely almost a guarantee of improving a team. Uh, I mean, I've not really had time to kind of digest what's just happened there with Karras, that mistake. I mean, am I overreacting because it's a friendly? Um, I don't think I am because I know that everybody else is going to scrutinise that mistake. And it doesn't look good. It does not look good. Um, so yeah, I mean, leave a comment with your thoughts. I think I can predict what they're all going to be. Um, so try and come up with something um, more. Uh, you know, not not just Karras has to go. We have to sign Allison because we're not going to sign Allison, um, and we're not going to sign our black. Let's start to think about who else is out there. Would you settle for a Nick Pope now? I've been banging the Nick Pope drum for a while. Would you settle for Nick Pope? Because um, I would. I've done a month ago and I still would now. Um, there you go, that's Loris Karras. Anyway, Liverpool won the game by three goals to two. I know they should, it's against Tranmere. Liverpool won the game and the first half was really impressive. On Saturday it was the second half that was uh, the eye-catching one, but this time uh, it was Shea Ojo that probably was the best player uh, across the 90 minutes. Camacho again at right back, I thought he played really well on Saturday and he scored a goal here, got forward well, so I mean he's doing himself no harm. Uh, Lallana scores as well on his return to action. Uh, Cater and Fabinho played together, um, which was nice to see. So that's really, that was, it was, it was the, the way the first half went, it looked like it was gonna be a very similar kind of game to Saturday, but yeah, Shea Ojo, I mean, all the talks about Wilson and um, you know, he obviously did really well uh, at Hull last season, whereas Ojo went to Fulham and couldn't quite cut it. Um, or, or was less involved, was less, um, you know, was less, less of a talisman there than Wilson became at a struggling hull. Um, obviously, they were very different ends of the table, and you know, Wilson was needed more than Odjo. Maybe if Odjo was such an important player for Hull, it would have been him in that position. But you know, it is what it is. We are where we are. Uh, Wilson came on in the second half, and to be honest, snatched at a couple of shots. I'm not sure if he felt a bit of extra pressure tonight because suddenly everyone's talking about him. Um, Sturridge as well played. I thought Sturridge was was his, you know was showed moments of class at times, but obviously didn't get on the score sheet. Nathaniel Klein, I mean, again, I, I, I know it's I know it's Tramier, but his delivery and just like he just looked, looked like a Rolls Royce. He just looked he looked like a level above everyone else out there to be honest in that second half. 
Um, he looked quicker, stronger, um, looked like he had more quality than absolutely everyone else, even in, on, on that Liverpool side. Um, so that's very encouraging that he seems to be fit again and playing his way back into form. Hopefully that carries on into the season. Um, but yeah, I mean, defensively, it's Chirivella with the mistake for the second Tranmere goal. Um, so, I mean, Chirivella's never going to make it in Liverpool, let's face it. James Milner gets caught there, but I mean, it's Chirivella's bad pass. And then, and then the, the striker nips in and Karras... Shows him the near post, to be honest. I don't, I don't think it's great goalkeeping technique. It, he made it so easy for him. He, he didn't make himself big um, and, and intimidate the striker and impose himself. He just sort of leant that way and just sort of invited the striker to put it in the near post. So all this carious talk that I'm coming up with now is only going to fuel the fire for you guys to comment about how much you just think it's in, imperative uh, that Liverpool sign a replacement. And do you know what? You're probably right. I mean... I try not to be one of these guys these days that's always on about transfers, always worrying about it. I mean, whenever I go on Instagram Live, the first question anyone always asks me, and it's fair enough, is about transfers. It's, it's, it's an exciting time. A lot of my videos are about transfers. I always talk about them. We all love to talk about transfers. Um, but I've tried to look past it. But yeah, Karis has gone and done that. So what can you do? Um, so that, that... Let me know what you think. What else can I say? But Liverpool win the game. Um, there are some positives to take from it. Ojo was great. Camacho looks really handy. Um, Kate and Fabinho getting more minutes under their belt. Um, I thought Curtis Jones again. I, I mentioned him on Saturday, and I thought I just, I just really like his style of play. I really like the way he's comfortable on the ball. He's not afraid to uh, get studs on the ball and you know um, take it around players and just yeah, really good low centre of gravity, really good skillful player. I like him, and I hope he's uh, able to progress. Uh, Woodburn did okay. I thought he was better tonight than he was on Saturday. So there we go. Liverpool win 3 2. They face Berry at the weekend. Um, let's see if we see Van Dijk and Van Alden this time. It's just kind of building up nicely. Um, Belgium were eliminated from the World Cup, so that's Mignolet's chance of winning the World Cup over. Um, it would have been a, you know, would have been a, a lucky medal if he was to get one. But yeah, France win 1 0, so they advance to the final. England versus Croatia tomorrow night. Who do you want to win? Who do you want to win? I, I mean, some scousers follow me. Um, you know, most of them might think I'm a wall, but some scousers follow me. Love to know what you guys think about uh, that game, and uh, do you want England to win? I, are you are you anti England, or do you get behind your country? I'm kind of in between. I have, I, I I I now actively want England to win the World Cup. Um, I'm not a big fan of this French side. Um, Croatia would be nice. It'd be a nice upset, and I'd be happy for Lovren. But I just think out of, the, out of the three teams left, England are the good guys, do you know? Um, yeah, the fans are divs and um, there's a lot wrong, wrong with England fans and how they behave. And England fans of years, England players, teams of years gone by haven't been the most likeable. But now there's just a, a bunch of young lads having the time of their lives in Russia. And, you know, I'm not going to begrudge that. I hope they win tomorrow and I hope they go on to beat France. Um, I think it'd be lovely for Hendo and, and, and Trent as well. What invaluable experience it's been for him. So there you go. Um, also, half a touch on Ronaldo going to Juventus. Not a huge shock, given you know the way it's been going the last week or so. It's always looked likely. Um, if you'd have told me a month ago, I'd have been staggered by Juventus. I mean, I thought PSG, uh, maybe even somewhere outside of Europe, maybe even Man United or whoever else. But Juventus, wow. Um, let's see where that kind of whether that makes any difference to. Other Premier League clubs, Hazard, you know, is it time for him to move on? And Bapp and Neymar at PSG, Sadio Mane, has been linked with Madrid in the past. Let's see how that all goes. Anyway, leave a comment with your thoughts on tonight's game, uh, either the France-Belgium game or the liverpool Tranmere game and the Ronaldo stuff. Whatever you want, I'll reply to every single one of you, as I always do. Subscribe to this channel if you are new. Uh, there'll be a, a vlog from Berry, obviously a preview to come before that, but I will be vlogging Berry. If you didn't see my Chester vlog, then go back and watch that. I also wrote a piece on Medium. I'll put the link to my Medium profile in the description. I'll be writing a piece on Tranmere versus Liverpool uh, straight after I get off camera here and edit this and get it up. So thanks again for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Ben might say, uh, Snapchat, Twitter and Facebook too, and I'll see you next time.